It's funny how a bad thing that came from nature has turned into using nature to make everything so much better for our town and for all of the people and just using that in a good way instead of thinking it needs to be negative. It didn't seem like it took very long for people to decide, you know what, this bad thing happened. Um, it was tragic for a lot of people, but we still have to move forward and we have to do what's best for, for our town and our community and the people that want to stay here and, and feel connected. Kiowa County Schools is a LEED certified building as well as many facilities in the community. We have a hospital, community building, uh, Kiowa County Commons Museum, uh, Art Center. All of them were built with sustainability in mind, environmentally friendliness in mind, and trying to make sure we built facilities that were respectful to nature and, and to the environment here. The school has a lot of these components in it. You know, we use natural daylight. We capture rainwater in cisterns and, and use it to irrigate the facilities. We have a lot of reclaimed product. We have our own wind generation that produces part of our power. You'll find these same features in many facilities throughout the town. When I look back now, eight years after the disaster, uh, I can honestly say the footprint we put down, um, the things that we've accomplished, and the things that are in place for future generations is a lot more than many of us could have dreamed about. And we're quite proud of the community that we're, we've built and we continue to create. There's some communities that people just rent. They move in, they use buildings that were already there, um, they, they, they live there for a certain amount of time and they move away. Uh, we have a community here that our, our, our citizens have bought. They bought, they paid for with their, with, with, with their sweat, with their time, with their finances. Um, we're real proud of what's been accomplished, but I, th I don't think we're done. Uh, it took 100 years to build Greensburg the first time. We're eight years into our rebuild right now. We've accomplished a lot, but uh, we have to continue to try to you know, recruit families and, and recruit businesses and to grow our community because uh, we do have a good place for people to live and for families to live and for children to grow up. And we try to build on that each and every day. Imagine a Kansas where anyone could build a new future from the ground up, where a single vision becomes part of something bigger something that inspires all of us to push Kansas forward.